Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, and if you want to know how the nation is responding to this sham indictment, all you have to do is look at the latest polls. Trump is crushing Biden in a stunning poll turnaround, all as the Democrats are turning on the corrupt DA. We're going to look at the latest polls. We're going to see what Democrat voters think about all of this and wait until you see what even leftist commentators are saying. It's going to absolutely make your day. A new Rasmussen poll is showing a massive surge in support for President Trump over Joe Biden. So back in February, Rasmussen polling found that in a head-to-head matchup, Joe Biden was leading Donald Trump 45 to 42. But now since the indictment, Rasmussen found a 10-point swing towards Trump. He now leads Biden 47 to 40. It's Trump's largest lead over Biden's had in nearly two years and the second highest proportion of the vote he's had since 2020. But it gets even better when you dive into the details of the poll. The demographic breakdown is stunning. Biden is hemorrhaging support among whites. He's down to just 37 percent. But look at black and Latino support. Trump's crushing it. He's nearly 30 percent support among blacks and 50 percent support among Latinos. In fact, Biden is doing worse among Latinos than he is whites. Look at the income brackets. Look at this. Trump now leads Biden in every single demographic income group except for the wealthy. Do you see why the old Rockefeller Republican strategy, the rhino strategy, can't possibly work anymore? It's largely because of the dynamic of refutalization, which we talk about regularly on this channel. But because our nation is being socially segmented in accordance with a caste system akin to medieval Europe, the wealthy are all in with the Democrats. This isn't the politics of the 1980s and 90s anymore. Billionaires are now hardcore cultural Marxists. And the sooner the Republican Party learns that lesson, the better. So this is gigantic. This is a gigantic opportunity for a truly populist Republican realignment. Biden has lost the middle class. He's lost everyone making under $100,000 a year. This is the moment when the GOP can amass perhaps the single most effective populist revolt in history. Now, as all this is happening, interestingly enough, Democrat Marianne Williamson is starting to make some noticeable gains against Biden. Williamson, of course, announced her candidacy to challenge Biden for the Democrat nomination, and she's actually hit double digit support. She's now at 10 percent. She started in the single digit. So again, we'll have to see if this is a trajectory that continues to erode Biden's very, very brittle support. Now, again, as all of this is happening, as Trump is surging and Biden is waning, Democrats have officially turned on the Soros-backed DA Alvin Bragg. Wait until you see what Democrats are saying out loud. It is going to make your day. But first, gang, as many of you know, we've been focusing a lot on our health lately in this channel, and that's because the health of patriots, your health, is more important now than ever, especially in the midst of so much toxicity in our food today. And that's where another Dr. Steve comes in, Dr. Steve Gundry. Now, you may have seen this world-renowned cardiologist featured on Fox News, and he's revealed the various ways in which millions of people nationwide are suffering from poor gut health. We're talking weight gain, fatigue, digestive discomfort, stiff joints, skin problems, Dr. Guntry explains that these signs are often mistaken for more normal signs of aging when in fact they're actually coming from poor gut health damage over the years by a hidden compound found in the foods recommended ironically by the government's fraudulent food pyramid. The great news is this can be easily fixed from your own home. It's so simple. All you have to do is just know which foods are actually healthy and which contain this hidden compound. So whatever you do, make sure to click on that link below and check out Dr. Gundry's amazingly informative video on exactly which foods you need to avoid right now to revitalize your health. Click on that link below or go to gutcleanseprotocol.com forward slash Steve. Fox News talked to a panel of Democrats the other day, and what they had to say about this indictment was pretty revealing. Sammy, you're in the back. You're a Democrat. Why do you think that Donald Trump would win the general 
after this? Well, if you see what's happening in our country where, you know, abroad, they're not respecting us. You know, Saudi Arabia already said that they're not going to follow what we say. The dollar is in shambles right now uh, overseas. We see also how, you know, here people, their, their buying power, their disposable income is shrinking. Mm -hmm. You know, th that's a lot of concern for us to be worried about finance laws. Uh, on the former president. I think we're concentrating on the wrong thing and it, this may backfire. Okay, uh, speaking of backfire, so yesterday we were assuming there would be more meat on the bones. Who was surprised that uh, there was no felony listed? You, Marissa? Once again, you're a Democrat as well. Welcome back. I am. You know, I was just surprised they were building this and building this. I mean, this is There's what Brad ran big. on. There has to be something big. And quite frankly, look, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump, but I was expecting more. I mean, this is nothing new. Every president, everybody who gets ascended to political power has some sort of skeleton in their closet, right? So. I, well, I frankly wasn't that surprised. Yeah, but, uh, well, this is new. A yeah. uh, porn star payoff is kind of new in that presidential new, politics. But Just when they're it. talking about falsifying business documents, I feel like that happens. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, in the end, in the end, what I'm hearing is not only is no one impressed by this indictment, but American voters, Democrats and Republicans are like, they're really concerned about the fundamentals of our nation right now. They're concerned about inflation. They're, con they're concerned about the cost of living crisis. They're concerned about the very real prospect of de-dollarization around the globe that we talk so much about here. They're concerned about all these things and they can't understand why on earth Biden and Democrat DAs are wasting everyone's time and money with such trivial nonsense like this. And that's why even never Trumper sites like National Review are admitting that this indictment has already lost in more ways than one. They're pointing out that even leftist commentators can't find it themselves to defend this. Look at this from the ultra left slate.com gang. This is slate. Donald Trump should not have been charged with this felony. <laughs> and it wasn't just this one headline. Here's another one again from the ultra left slate. The Trump indictment is not the slam dunk case Democrats wanted. Well, duh. I mean, guys, this is what you get with Trump derangement syndrome. This is the kind of absurdity that hysterics breeds. Over at Vox, Vox with a V, not F, the ultra left Vox. Look at this headline. The dubious legal theory at the heart of the Trump indictment <laughs> explained. I mean, these guys are actually trying to explain the dubious. Let that hit you. Gang, it's called a banana republic political persecution. All right, it's not that hard. We're not used to it here. We're not used to kangaroo courts and we're not used to idiot leftist outlets trying to explain them. Even the ultra-left Washington Post, which really has become nothing more than a comical rag at this point. Even Elon Musk admits that. But even they're recognizing this is a sham and a dangerous one at that in terms of the retributive politics it's going to unleash. I have to admit, when I read pieces like this, these guys are obviously believers. They're real believers. These are woke leftists who really believe that the Soros-backed DA really had something on Trump. And now they're just stunned that this is just a big nothing burger. I mean, they're stunned by it and they're disillusioned. And if that's true of hardcore Democrats, we don't have to imagine how independents and Republicans are responding. Just look at Trump's polls. As always, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. You'll definitely want to check out my latest video on the latest Democrat to switch parties all as GOP supermajorities are surging. It's going to make your day. So make sure to click on that link and I'll see you over there. God bless. <laughs>